There's literally an art to thinking about how a person's going to react when they're scared and how to capture their attention so you can maximize the reaction. I just love scaring people. Hearing screams is like an applause for me. My name is Jimmy Dilly, and I'm a macabre artist that specializes in the art of haunted house. The overall design and aesthetic, as well as how the cast performs inside of it. So I'm kind of the imagineer of the haunted house. We actually always like start with a blueprint of the building and we'll plan out like we want to scare here, we want to scare here, we want to scare here. And then I have to take that concept and go, okay, this type of scare is going to work here. How do I execute it? How do I hide it? How do I make a person look in the right spot? So there's a ton of ingenuity that actually goes into planning out a haunted house because we're not only taking into account actors, set design, but also the special effects, the sound, the lighting, all of that's actually an intricate orchestra that has to be conducted just right in order to maximize scare. Make it feel bigger or grander than it actually is. And it's all around you. Every single room has those odd little illusions and the customer has no concept that that kind of stuff is going on. They're absorbing the environment. They don't think about that. But as designers, we have to think about those types of things. And even down to the timing, how quick does a person walk? Is this scare going to animate at the right time? How certain characters will make you feel? Does that match the set work? Does it uh, all flow together in a very cohesive environment? Every inch has to be detailed and every angle as you walk in has to be thought about as well as like where the scare sits in it. So I have to convey a feeling instantly when you walk in and I only have a few seconds to do that with a customer that's coming through. My favorite types of mediums, I love pretty much anything that's sculptural. I really, really, really love when I can start doing like cobble and brick and uh, foam carving and clay. I love making things that look gothic or rubbled or like they're centuries old, but in reality they're maybe a month or two old when a person walks by them and they have no clue. I love that. That's, it's a trickery and uh, it takes a, a skilled artist to be able to understand how to do that and make it practical still. Anything that I can really get my hands in and shape something into existence, I just adore. I, I would love to do that all the time if I could. My biggest fear is plateauing and not feeling wonder anymore. So I'm always trying to like learn the next best thing. Everything is a tool. Garbage is treasure to me. I can turn it and make it into a golden nugget if you want me to. <laughs> Our cast and crew are definitely part of my inspiration. Watching the reactions to things and seeing them be happy from the environments we create, that inspires me to be better at what I do. I know as an actor wants the good sets make me feel good, so I can only imagine what they feel like. And it's fun, it's kind of like a goal to impress them. But I would like to start getting into more advanced creature design. So making creature suits is gonna be one more way to kind of like up the game to scare people. Because I just want people to look at what we do here at the Nightmare on 13th and be like, wow, those people are really good, I wanna be like them. To try to get the national haunt scene to look more on Utah. I would definitely tell anyone that wants to come up in the haunted house industry or is a macabre artist to get ready to work some long hours and to find new things that interest you, that spark your imagination, and to surround yourself by those things all the time. Because when you're inspired by the things you're curious about, you can create better and grander things. It's, uh, it takes a while to get to a certain level where you can make a living off of it. But at the end of the tunnel is a very fun field that you will never feel like you're getting old.